Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Homer. Oh, good to see you, Homer. I love Homer, I love Homer so much. It is genuinely, definitely the most, uh, the largest, uh, oh, blanking on my first joke, that's too bad, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind, skipping on. My wife and I moved down here about five years ago. It's been uh, five years of wonderful times. Uh, before that, we lived in Anchorage for 12 years. Before that, we lived in the Valley for eight years, so if you know what those places are like, you know we're winning. We are doing better than all the time. Homer. My wife and I have been married for 22 years, going on 23. Thank you, thank you. Any of y'all want to know the secret to a long marriage? I can tell you right now, I can sum it up in three easy words. Don't get divorced. Boom, it's that easy. <laughs> Wedding counselor achieved. Thank you very much, that was correct. My wife is actually a very private person. She asked me not to tell any jokes about her, uh, not to even mention her from stage, so I just want to say one thing about my wife, that I love her very much. Uh, and she has made me a better person. Thank you. It's true. It's true. Uh, for example, she hates when I'm drunk. She hates the drunk version of me, you know, and she doesn't like it at all. And so that has made me uh, get really good at acting sober. So <laughs> thank you, Ma. Thank you, my wife. I do love drinking. Uh, I come from a long line of drinkers, both sides of my family. Uh, all three sides, if you count my stepdad. Uh, my grandparents, uh, that long line of drinkers, they taught me a lot. I learned all kinds of things like uh, crisis management and uh, inebriation psychology and how to make a tasty CC and Coke. It's just a little splash of Coke, enough for color, don't change the taste. I, I do love drinking, I love drinking a lot. Uh, honestly, you know, it's dangerous drinking these days. I, I'm always worried about getting a DUI, but uh, I got a cure for that too. I went out and I got a new a uh, bumper sticker for my car says, student driver. <laughs> Problem is solved. I do love drinking, I also love smoking weed. Weed has changed quite a bit in the uh, 40 years. Yeah, word, word, one stone over there, plotting, you couldn't hear it, it wasn't real. A lot of gusto, you know how they are. <laughs> Buying weed has changed quite a bit. I used to go to dirty little apartments and meet dudes named Killer and Bobby and uh, <clears throat> was he like a doobie? I used to buy weed off a guy named Doobie. Last ounce of weed I bought was from a nice girl named Jennifer. And I knew her name was Jennifer because it said on her name tag. Jennifer. And I was like, would you like to smoke a bowl with me, Edward? That's you know, what we used to do. She's like, no, I'll just take 20 bucks in a tip jar. I was like, all right, you know, things have changed. I, honestly, I voted against uh, legalization of marijuana in Alaska. I, I, uh, I figured I've been smoking weed every day since I was 14. The program works fine. Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? But, my side lost on that deal. They went ahead and legalized it. And, uh, I, knew, I knew it was gonna be a problem and you just wouldn't you know it, in a capitalist society, they just started doing gain of function research on marijuana as quick as they could. And now we're all smoking the shit that killed Elvis. You know what I mean? Like, why are we giving kids stuff that cures cancer? It's too much, you know, and a weed has become too strong. It's, it's a problem, I think it's a problem. <laughs> Me and Jennifer though, we, uh, we found, uh, we fought and we won the war on drugs. That's great. So. Also, uh, do you guys know who won the War on Terror? You know, remember the War on Terror? You know who won that? COVID-19. What? Crazy, right? Stop that shit cold in its tracks. I couldn't believe it. Wow. I miss COVID, man. You guys remember COVID-19? That was so fun. That shit was wild, man. We, I used that shit for an excuse for everything. Raise your hand if you never used COVID as an excuse to do some shit you didn't want to do. Yeah, not one hand in here. That's right. That's right. I got, I got caught by a bouncer pissing in the parking lot of Chico Charlie's. He goes, hey, motherfucker, what are you doing? I said, COVID. He's like, all right, bro. All right. <laughs> Fucking love that shit. Got pulled over by a cop smoking a fatty. Didn't even roll my window down. He comes up. I'm like, <coughs> He goes, are you all right? I said, COVID. He says, get home safe, son. Get home safe. Said, yes. I miss it. I miss it bad. Who knew that COVID would be cured by fucking Russia invading Ukraine. Who saw that coming? That's crazy. How does that work? How does that even work? Do you guys remember when Russia first invaded Ukraine and they are all like, Putin's coming for Alaska next, man. He wants Alaska to annex Alaska. You guys remember that shit? And I was like, oh, what's he gonna do? Deny us all health care and make us work till we die? <laughs> Fill our streets with homeless people? <laughs> what's he gonna keep us under the, make us live in a surveillance state? Always on the edge of a war, you know? It kind of sounds a little bit fucking similar to what's going on right now. So, um, 
I say if Putin wants to invade Alaska, we invite him over here and show him around a little bit. We're like, hey man, check it out. This is our biggest city. It's called Anchorage. It's fucking sexy. Anchorage is fucking sexy. Fifty Shades of Beige, baby. Come on. How do you feel about strip malls and prostitutes, Mr. Putin? Huh? This area is called fucking Muldoon. Check out Muldoon right here. If you like that, we spread it over a 20 mile area, went and planted it up in a mosquito farm up north, called that shit Fairbanks. It's our second biggest city now. All right. 100 degrees in the summer, hotter below in the winter, mountains all around, but you can't see them because of the smog. Check it out, dude. If you like our urban areas, wait until you see what the rural areas have to offer you, Mr. Putin. If you guys have ever been to the bush, you know how funny that shit is. I do believe Mr. Putin would be like, uh, yes, possible. <laughs> Any Russian speakers in here? It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 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 I do. Lo I talk a lot of trash about Alaska, but I do love living here. Uh, one thing I love living about Alaska is 100% uh, uh, political culpable deniability. Every, every four years, you know, the most important election of our lives comes around. Every four years, freedom itself is on the ballot again, and usually they're announcing the winner on the radio by the time I'm heading out to the polls, so it's like, <laughs> cool, pressure's off on that deal. I will be writing in Massive Meteor once again. All right. Thank you, Massive Meteor. I talk trash, but, you know, I think the government's doing a great job. In fact, I heard uh, they're, they just come up with a solution to the homeless problem in America. They just announced it. Did you hear it? Nuclear war with Iran. Boom! Perfect. Don't worry about them fucking student loan payments, y'all. Housing crisis solved. All right. All right. No, 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 no. I knew it was a little bit edgy there for a moment. Listen, all I'm saying is America is a little bit, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a violent streak in this place. I don't know if you know that. It smells a little bit death culty in America. I don't know if you guys noticed. Have you guys noticed that, like, our most ardent pro-lifers are also our biggest gun enthusiasts. Yeah. You know, you that? yeah, I'm pro-life. My fucking life. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes. America, it's a death cult. All right, clap for America one time. All right. I'll give you another example. They were showing a movie at the theater, and it was this lady who sucked 300 dicks in two hours. 300 dicks. Dick, 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 like a river of dicks. And that shit was like sketchy as hell. You snuck in there with a fucking fake mustache and your hat pulled down in the dark. Like you could lose your job for being caught in that fever. Like everybody hit out. Down the street, they're showing a movie where a guy shoots and kills 300 people in two hours. It's John Wick 4. Boom. I think I won an Oscar. Pow. No big deal, man. Americans are weird, man. They're weird about their violence and their sex. You know what I mean? Cast your mind back to 2017. The most popular show on television was Game of Thrones at the time. The opening episode of season seven featured a young lady named Arya Stark who murders an entire family. She kills the sons, chops up their flesh, bakes it in a pie, serves it to the dad, tells him he's eating his kids as she peels off the face of the servant that she's been wearing as a mask and then cuts his throat from ear to ear while the rest of the family watches, chokes, and dies in front of him. All my friends were like, yeah, I'm fucking badass! Woo! The next year, the same girl, Ari Starks, on a boat facing certain death, hanging out with this dude Gendry. She's like, you know what? We're about to die. I think I'm ready to lose my virginity. My friends were like, bro, she's a little young for that, man. That was kind of messed up. I'm like, dude, you talking about that bitch who killed that family last year? Come on. Americans are weird about sex, man. You know what I mean? I love sex. I'm way into it. I, I think about sex all the time. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was kinky too. I thought I was kinky, you know, I was kinda into feet. I'm like, oh man, I love girls' feet, you know, little tiny toes. You ever put to girl's toes in your mouth? And she's like, ah! I'm like, yeah, dude, you know, shit's hot. But then I went and watched a porno about feet. I am not that into feet, man. Those guys, those dudes are fucking bananas, bro. I was like, what are you fucking her foot for? I'm like, dude, the good shit's just at the other end of that leg, man. What are you doing? You're gonna get athlete's dick, bro. What are you fucking doing? Shit is crazy. Do you think, ladies, this question's for you. Do you ever look at a dude with a cold sore and think, mm, that boy knows what's up. I'm gonna check his Instagram, see when he starts posting selfies again, and then look him up. Get it? All right. You know, herpes used to be a real problem until AIDS came along. Really put that shit in perspective. Thanks, y'all. My name's Orion. That's all I got. I'm probably stick around for a bunch more great comedians. Thank you very much. Have a great night. <laughs>